Hello friends, welcome to Databricks video tutorials. In this video, I am going to give you example on what is a single node cluster and how to create and when we'll use this single node cluster. So whenever you are creating cluster in Databricks, you will get an option called cluster mode, cluster mode. There you can see high concurrency, standard and single node cluster. So this single node cluster is mainly for if we have a small data processing and uh, you can use this. So when you choose a single node cluster, everything will be processed inside in a one driver node, one driver node and uh, you, you don't get any worker nodes here. Let's see. Whenever you are choosing high concurrency or standard node, you can see this worker nodes and driver nodes. Here you can see down worker type under number of worker nodes you can select same thing for driver but when you choose a single node single node for only for driver you don't get any worker nodes and the driver also you can choose the memory how much is required how many codes are required but everything whatever you are processing it will process inside this driver node you can say local process and a zero worker node so whatever you are processing everything will process inside this so if you have a small data process, so what you can do instead of going with uh, uh, multiple nodes like a driver node and worker nodes, so what you can do, you can go with the driver node, which is single node cluster. The cluster mode is single node. So if you use a single node, so you can process jobs and a small data process. And the other thing you need to remember that is, if you want to convert the single node to standard node, you cannot convert vice versa, like standard node to single node also you cannot convert. So if you don't have a sufficient resources in single node, what you can do? Just you can create a, another node with the standard or high concurrency, then you can use that. So this is the way we can go with the single node. And for learning, people who are learning, for them is very useful. Why? Because single node means you can see here, you will get a four cores and a 14 GB RAM memory and one driver. Okay. Then if you are using Azure portal, so you will get a 13,000 credits, right? So those credits, if you want to use Azure Databricks as a free trial, you can use this. Why? Because in Azure free trial, Azure free trial, default maximum course, it will support only four cores. So if you go with the standard or uh, high concurrency, what will happen if you choose a minimum two worker nodes, if you choose minimum two worker nodes. So the maximum course here you can see eight plus four, 12 cores, it will come. But your Azure portal free trial maximum, it will support only four cores. So for that reason, if you are using a free trial for learning, if you want to use the entire options, so what we can do, we can go with a single node. So this option also available, okay. So single node, I am creating a cluster and uh, you can choose this other options. But uh, if you are using a free trial, mainly Azure portal free trial, so maximum it will allow only four cores. So I am using this one. So create a cluster. So cluster will be created. So it may take another uh, two to five minutes maximum and you can use for processing. Okay. So this is the usage of single node cluster. So here you can monitor in event log, you can monitor when it is creating and if it fails also, it will show the message. If it is success also, here you can see the complete log. So this event log is completely for cluster starting and stopping. And uh, if you are using any uh, parameters, installation parameters, so that time you can see this event log. Okay. Like, uh, if we go with the global installation parameters so this is the new option currently it is a preview but uh, if you are use calling any parameters global parameters installation parameters so those will be triggered through this event log okay so still it's creating wait few minutes in the event log you can see this And once cluster is available, then you can access 
Spark EI and the driver log, whichever you are executing, all logs will be there in driver logs. The Spark EI, notebooks, attach a notebooks, libraries, you can uh, install any libraries here. Okay, this is, you can see cluster mode as a single. So clusters with no worker recommended for single user cluster computing as small data volumes. So majorly if you have a small data volume, so why NSLA you will go with the multiple nodes? So you can go with this single node cluster. Then and if you want to increase, if you want to decrease this uh, terminate option, auto terminate, you can go with this. And out of scale only you will get with the standard or high concurrency single node because it's a single node, right? So you it's not applicable for auto scaling option. So wait, refresh. Still, it's taking more time. So, whenever you are creating a cluster here in a portal, it will be created a list of resources, a disk. Here you can see disk, virtual machine, public IP address, network interface. So three disks will be created, one virtual machine. It's a Ubuntu, okay? You can see this all information here for that cluster. Whichever cluster we are creating, that's public IP address. Here you can see four vCPUs, 14 GB RAM, standard DS3 be selected, Ubuntu version you can see here. These all are related to this cluster. You can see this green. You can refresh. See, cluster is running now, and uh, you can see the here current number of workers, target number of workers. So, configuration entire configuration you can edit, and uh, here you can see this other options. Okay, and the parameters this is a cluster level initialization and. Uh, this may be feature is not repaired. We'll go with the global initialization parameters. These are our available options. So this you can go with the creating a single node cluster and you can use for your jobs. So if you like this video, please subscribe my channel and share this video. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you very much.